and I moved directly to the Stanford graduate program. Uh, so I uh, entered the computer science department, PhD program mm -hmm. uh, there, and uh, uh, which was a new program at the time. It had only been founded, I think, in 65. So there'd only been a, a few uh, graduates through a PhD at the time. Uh, it was just getting going. They were still hiring faculty and, and so on too, but there was a, a great uh, set of faculty there. Uh, Bob Floyd was my PhD advisor. Mm -hmm. Don Knuth was there, Zohar Mana. I also worked a lot with David Klarner and Vashak Shavathal who were visiting and doing, they were visiting mathematicians actually, doing a lot of combinatorics and I worked with them. Um, and uh, a lot of great students, I mean, Bob Tarjan, Vaughn Pratt, uh, a lot of other people were there at the same time I was. So it was a, it was a exciting department at the time. Kind of a who's who of computing in some ways. Um, how is it that, that uh, Bob Floyd became your advisor? Do you remember? I don't remember how that evolved actually. That's a great question. Um, I remember very much liking the algorithms course he taught. Mm -hmm. uh, he was teaching, you know, heap sword and other things, and he just had a beautiful way of explaining things. Uh, so I, I enjoyed his teaching style, and it, that must have drifted into an advisory thing somehow. But I don't actually recall how that uh, how that happened. Okay, it was a fairly small department. Roughly, how many students would you say? Uh, at the time, there might have been forty students. I don't know. So you knew everybody pretty knew everybody much. Everybody pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and did you actually end up working with Bob other than on your, on your thesis? Um, that is, with, with, were you involved in research work that he so was I doing? So I did research other than with, with Bob. I, we, the, uh, one of the early pieces I did with him was the linear time median finding algorithm uh, with, with uh, Bob and, and Manny Blum and Vaughn Pratt and Bob Tarjan. Uh, that actually arose from a conversation Bob Floyd had had with with uh, Manny Blum at Berkeley. I never met Manny at, at the time the paper was published even. Um, <laughs> but uh, he said, here's an initial idea, and he had some nonlinear ideas, and we sort of refined them and put, made them, pushed them a little further and made them linear. Uh, so that was one piece of research I did at, at Stanford. I also worked on uh, some enumeration questions with David Kleiner, enumerating polyominoles, how many polyominoles can you make with n tiles, uh, what are the asymptotics of that. Um, I also worked quite a bit up at the uh, Stanford AI lab, up in the hills behind the campus, uh, in part because it was interesting work and in part because it was DARPA funded and came with a deferment. And as you know, the Vietnam War was uh, right. uh, uh, underway then, and so this would allow me to defer thinking about that issue. Um, so I worked on the uh, Stanford CART project uh, when I was there and worked with Bruce Bumgart, and uh, we were trying to get this, the cart to drive around the parking lot uh, without hitting in anything. Mm -hmm. So it's an uh, interesting resonance for the things that are happening today with self-driving vehicles and so on too. At the time, the computers were so underpowered and our technology was so feeble, we couldn't succeed at what we were trying at, at the time, but uh, we tried. So I talked with Don Knuth off and on, uh, in particular my thesis work on uh, uh, search uh, algorithms for, for uh, associative search, and uh, he had some very helpful remarks there, but he was not my formal advisor. He was a, mm -hmm. just a, somebody I talked with now and then. Mm -hmm. We also talked, I also talked with him about some of his exercises. I remember I had a solution to one of his exercises. He said, aha, I, I, that's gonna go in the book, so he did. <laughs> well, those books were, were kind of all the rage at that, at, at that time. Yeah. Right? He was, they're, they're he was still actively involved in that. Very much valuable references, yes.